This isn't happening. The camera movement, camera framing. Whoever directed this needs a hand. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who doesn't get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm the coolest South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into episode 11 of Star Girl. You're on the home stretch right now. Cordy got sent into the Shadowlands. I call it the Shadow Realms. Because Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Need I explain more? Um, so, probably going to see uh, Sydney again, Dr. Midnight, whoever else she's holding within that dark dimension. I mean, it, Eclipse or whoever he's holding. I don't know his gender, but he transforms to a little kid, so probably he. <laughs> um. Let's just see this episode. Need I say more? Start writing. Starting with Beth. Everybody's kind of reeling from thinking she's dead, I guess. They really think she's gone, gone. They just brought the staff back. God damn. This is going to make Yolanda and Rick get off their asses in prison and house arrest. Well, Yolanda is voluntary house arrest. <laughs> It's called black and white. We having a noir episode. So the Shadowland is just the world, but in black and white. The welcome committee, a preacher. Oh, he's just greeting. I thought he was gonna show her around. The lack of atmospheric, like in the sound design, is a great choice. Makes this whole thing ominous. Who is she seeing? Hey, it's the dead family. Y'all died in season one. They didn't show we die in like a bus crash or something. They are oversharing the score. Oh my god. Chef's kiss. Quentin's just here with a shock face. This all happening in her head within the Shadow Realm. They're hitting us with a flashback. I forgot she lied about the card. Damn. This isn't happening. The camera movement, camera framing. Whoever directed this needs a hand. Ooh, that's cool. <clears throat> She's in the high school now? Does she not remember where she is? Or what last happened to her? Damn. It's a repeat of season one, essentially. This yes, Sydney Berman. Is it Berman or Berman? Is this the real her or version of her from Courtney's Nightmares? Oh, they teaming up. What are you talking about? Damn. My of course, her nightmares dear. is her dad. My dear the mad scientist. But is it like a time loop? The same way you got here. A black puddle on the floor. <laughs> Shadow Realm is so much better than Shadowland. Is this the flashback we got of her mother being kind to her in this room as a child? They fremenies. Is that what they say? <laughs> the door transitions are so dramatic though. Is this her old apartment where her dad didn't show up? God damn. It's a memory. It's purgatory. My daughter ended all my dreams. God damn, Eclipse was dark, yo. <laughs> Mom. It looks so dramatic. Sydney out here rubbing it in. That wasn't you too good. She about to get a morality English <laughs> lessons in morality. <laughs> I can't say the word for some reason. Sometimes I find myself watching the show. Tight brain on. Now we're getting some shaky cam action. You're the one who brought, like, a lab They're about to be empathetic for each other. Daddy issues. That, Uniting frem frenemies. I'm saying that right, right? Ooh, you're afraid of your mother, though. Damn. It's like a set. 
So these are the dark corners. Dr. Midnight. I knew we were gonna see his ass. Why is he talking like a robot? <laughs> is Shade and Eclipse all the yin and yang on the Shadowlands? Yeah, the goggles can see through it. Damn. You see a daddy? His dead daughter. Oh my god. Damn, he'd rather see the darkness than deal with the trauma of losing his daughter. I guess I get it. The pictures in the records as Justice Society Christmas 2020. What else when you think of 20? You think about you 20? What you mean, baby girl? <laughs> Go back to the black and white scenes. These are emotional moments, but we know she's alive. So it undercuts this scene and just makes it have pacing problems for me. Strictly talking personally for me. Jenny's Green Lantern ring, mad different than the ones we used to. <laughs> Brightest night, no evil shall escape my sight. She's projecting the city? That's cool. Nose. So there's two points of the shade. Is it two people from the Shadowlands? One being Eclipso, one being the shade? Like John McHale got promoted to series regular for season three. So, I guess, like season one, season two ends with him <laughs> as a cliffhanger again. Consider them friends. She, do, He doesn't consider them friends. Dude is watching the movie. God damn. The shade. Dude was so badass at the beginning of this season, though. So does Eclipse showed up. He's been different. Still amazing performance from the dude, though. Yeah, he's bad, just not evil. So he's gonna help. What is he doing? She's projecting them. Is she gonna leave Sydney? She can't. I'll be right back. She can't help but be a hero. They got separated? Oh, a clip, so. This kid made a check in this season. <laughs> Did she kill her mother because her mother wanted her to stay to a curfew or sleep schedule? Oh, yes, it is. Yolanda's sitting on the bed. Bible on knee. <laughs> God damn, that's guilt on another level. Oh, they're showing her Rick in jail. I knew it. In jail. Locked up, they won't let me out. Great directing this episode, but too many door transactions. <laughs> Transitions, I mean, she's taking so many detours into her destination. Kid acting his ass off. Time is running out. Oh, shit. Courtney, you're wasting time with this kid. She feels the same way about a deadbeat dad and a crazy maniac, killer, psycho, soul eater. <laughs> okay, we get it. You love torturing people. And then, what does he get out of knowing what she feels about him? That brought him so much joy. Dr. Midnight shown out of nowhere also. Or oh, he went to the right destination from the jump, not the detours. Them talking in unison to stop. You're wasting time. Why would Eclipso give her closure? <laughs> did they make it back? Of course they did. Oh, they gonna run in slow, boy. Why are they going through one at a time? She better make it through. What if the shade just randomly turns into dust right now? You called him my friend. He actually is gonna die, <laughs> disintegrating. Shadow. Team up even outside the shadow realm. Ragtag group of people teaming up to take down a weird evil dude who turns into a kid. Consistent kid. Making sure that kid gets acting jobs. <laughs> After this role. He had to play a racist. He had to laugh. So many times. <laughs> he had to perfect an evil smile. Big ups to that kid. Great episode. Like I said, they're directing this episode. 
there were some pacing problems like I called out. Probably because I'm always sometimes thinking ahead before something happens. So when it doesn't happen quick enough, I get complacent and bored. But a phenomenal episode. We got two Dr. Bidites now. Do you think he's going to give Beth those goggles he came out with? Or he's going to just fix the malfunctioning ones. The team got to get reunited on top of that. Man, I keep dropping so much frames. I really have to find a way to fix this laptop. Oh, find a way to buy a high-end PC. <laughs> One of the two. Anyway, great phenomenal episode. Two episodes left. Tomorrow, got Titans finale. Doom Patrol episode 7. And Friday Foundation. Deuces. <laughs>